not gonna lie, we're in Vegas and I'm about three beers deep. Uh, we got here last night, we immediately ditched our stuff and then went out onto the strip and gambled and ate three burritos and drank until half one in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't do too good on the slot machines. That's, yeah. That's for sure. I didn't do very good either. We both didn't do good. No. Well, anyway. We got, we got a few welcome drinks and uh, We still have fun. It was good, yeah. We had loads of fun. We're in our room just now. We're staying at the Aria. Araya? I don't know. Uh, but it's a really nice hotel. It's probably one of my favourites. My favourite probably is the Cosmo though, I must say. The Cosmo is like the best. It's we've got the best. We ventured in there last night. Did we? Yeah, we were in there for a bit. Okay, I'll trust you on that one. Yeah, we had fun. But you know that they pump oxygen in the air in the casinos here to keep you awake. The drink hits you quicker and it's so dark you don't know what time it is. So I honestly thought it was about maybe 11 at night and it was half one in the morning. So we went to bed. We walked along to the MGM this morning to see the weigh-in. Um, you guys don't know why we're here yet, but obviously we're here for the fight. I was a sneaky, sneaky fiancé. <laughs> And I grabbed a couple of tickets it for Jack. Very, it wasn't very sneaky. It wasn't very sneaky because I told you straight away. It's one of Jack's total dream come true moments, isn't it? Oh yeah. So we're here. I, I still can't believe we're here. I know. Fucking incredible. This is Jack's first time in Vegas and he absolutely loves it, obviously. It's my third time here and I do really love it. But I know for a fact that when Monday morning comes, we will be ready to go home. But we're here for four nights in total we've stayed already so we're here for three more nights we are going to go to the pool just now and then we're going to maybe gamble a little bit more yeah we'll see i'm feeling lucky today <laughs> kind of i've never been lucky when i come to vegas ever i used to be really lucky i think i used all my luck up when we lived in Gla when when we're in glasgow because i used to go to the casino and win 60 whole pounds from a fiver <laughs> here it's a different ball game minimum bets 25 dollars and such and such so we're not going to talk about that too much um but yeah we're here we're happy, we're alive, and we're three beers deep. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> That's a good sign off this, quote this, if we end up dying. This is my favourite song. Is this the one we're talking about? Yeah. Look. <laughs> you catch me? They call me Slut Crack. This song makes you feel sassy, doesn't it? It's my favourite. What is it? Where's my other slider? I kicked it at you. It's over here. It is in here somewhere. Oh, here! See those reflexes? It's quick on slide. Got you. Yeah, I'm so excited. Can't believe I'm going to see Floyd Mayweather tonight. I know. I was about eight year old the first time I watched him fight. We gambled again, obviously. We've done quite well last night. Well, I was up, so basically basically what happened, I was up in blackjack um, and then I lost it all. Yeah. And I had $50 left and I went and put it on roulette, I put it on red. Well, even before then. No, actually I put it on black and won. And then I went to another table and put $100 on Red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I got two hundred dollars in my purse. But even before then, it was a slippery slope. Like we started. You just fought. No, that was a fucking something popped out there. <laughs> it was. But even like when we first started, we lost, we won, we lost, we won, we lost, and then we walked away winners. So it fluctuated. What time is it? Just now it is nine forty-five. We need to go and pick up the fight tickets at the MGM Grand at 12. What we're going to do, get a couple of mimosas. I do feel a bit hungover. I've felt, I've felt consistently hungover. Yeah. Since we've been here, me and you have just kept on drinking beer. Weighed myself, I've bloody gained weight. Mm -hmm. I've gained, I've gained six, six pounds on this trip. 
I can't wait to go home and be healthy again. Yeah. My Mandy, my trainer's gonna be mad. <laughs> I had no idea that was like that. <laughs> I've just been walking around like that for like an hour, probably. I didn't see it. Don't blame me. I might be looking chic. We are at the T-Mobile Arena. And I can tell I've had too many beers because my arm's getting tired holding this camera up. Ooh. Really send that flying. We're here really early. Aren't we? Uh -huh. Pay per view starts in it's five o'clock. Fifty-five minutes. It's five past five, and pay per view starts at six, which basically means that the three biggest fights are coming at six. And then we think we're going to be here until about ten or eleven. And our friends from Nick's are actually here. They just so happen to be in town for the fight as well, so we might go and meet them for a drink. Hello. So, I have a little bit of an update for you guys. The fight was absolutely amazing. Um, it was actually a really good fight. I think Connor did really well. Obviously, I kind of knew that Mayweather was going to win. And then, a series of events. And we have moved room. We have moved hotel. Congratulations to Floyd Mayweather, 50 and all. <laughs> sure. Basically, a series of events later. And somehow knowing the right people. We are in a new hotel room. We're in the penthouse suite in the Cosmopolitan. This is the craziest room I've ever seen in my entire life. Look. It's not the most insane hotel room ever, but totally crazy, amazing bathroom. Oh, feel a bit of booty there. <laughs> most amazing hotel room I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, and there's also a dining room. I actually can't get my head around it. I texted my mum and I was like, Mum, I don't know what happened, but we've moved hotels and we're in the penthouse. I keep thinking I'm going to blink and it's over. Yeah, well it pretty much will be. We've got one more night, so we're going to stay here tonight. We're going to go down to the pool, we're going to eat, we're going to get dinner, we're going to chill. No, I mean like, it's a, it's a dream. I know. It doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel real at all, does it? So it's a really exciting day. This balcony goes right round the whole room. We've got two little doggos there. Not a patch on Drogba, but that's fine. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. I don't even know what to say. I had a bath and then 
we're getting ready. We're going for dinner at Beauty and Essex tonight. Yeah, I'll put I'll put the music on and show everyone. Okay. Like, follow me. It goes everywhere. The speaker is all over this place. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, me and Jack just got ready and danced around the penthouse for about an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was so good. And now we're going for dinner at Beauty in Essex. Tired. I am so tired. We're at the Luxor, which is definitely not my recommendation for anyone to stay in. It's cool, but it's old. It's a really old hotel. We're gonna see <laughs> Blue Man Group. I go for a wee sleep before it starts. Show the ponchos. Look at the guys putting on the ponchos. Jim. <laughs> The row in front of us is a poncho zone, like which makes me think that they're going to get point paint thrown over them. And, we all and we're one row behind that, and I don't think there's. I see if one speck of paint gets on me, I'll be fucking pissed that I get one of those ponchos. And I've just ordered some fruit in a smoothie. It's about half past 11 at night. We went to see the Blue Man group at the Luxor, which was really, really fun. It was, it was actually really cool. It was kind of goofy, but I laughed the whole way through it, so it was good. And we went for dinner at Beauty in Essex, which is honestly one of my favorite restaurants of all time. Like me and Jack were just absolutely loving life eating that food. And now we're just gonna try and stay awake and enjoy this crazy penthouse for a little bit longer. Aren't we? Everyone's really nice to you when you've got a penthouse. Hmm? Everyone's really nice to you. Yeah. They treat you different. It's probably not a good thing, but <laughs> I'm absolutely pleasure loving it. And I'm getting some house inspo. Some yeah. home inspo. Whoever decorated this place was a master. Oh my god, my makeup is trash. I did this when I was pretty drunk. I was kind of hungover this morning, so I just decided to have more drinks. And then we get home on Tuesday morning, like late morning, and I am absolutely off it. I am off it. I am off the food and I am off the booze. I'm done with it. And it's done with me. Look at that. Got home. Do you notice anything different? <laughs> it's been painted. My mum and dad came up when we were away and they painted the dining room. How much better is that? It's so lovely and bright and fresh. No more purple wall. I know, it looks so clean, doesn't it? I know, it looks brilliant. So thank you so, so much, mum and dad. And we also came home to a bloody Tesco shop. So there's food in the house and everything. I'm so excited. But we have, we have something important to do. We're gonna go and get our dog. Who's a good boy? <gasps> hey. 
Hello. We got home yesterday at about one o'clock. Went and got Drogba, Drogba's great. And then I went to bed, managed to sleep till 7.30. And since then, <laughs> it's been a bit of a crazy morning. So basically I'm ready to go to London. I'm getting picked up in about an hour and a half to go to the airport to fly down to London, which I'm actually really excited for because it's for an event, it's for a dinner with Rimmel. I just made it to my hotel in London. <laughs> this place is so cool. It's called The Curtain. And I think it's in Shoreditch, I didn't really pay attention. A little note from the Rimmel team, very exciting. We've got this super cosy, let's have a look, oh, big huge cosy sweater. It says winging it on it, which is exactly what I feel like I'm doing my entire life. Oh, the door. That was really sweet, that was just the door and it's a little card from the hotel saying welcome to your London home. Adorable. What I was showing you is the Rimmel brochure that's all about the new products with Rita Ora looking like an absolute diamond. We've got the new liner, oh my goodness that looks actually brilliant. And then I'm actually completely obsessed with this already, get your shit together. Because I actually just got this book, my granny got me it for my birthday and I've not read it yet. If you want to feel like a sassy ass biatch, read these books. How exciting, and then look, cookies with Rimmel on them. I've been so lucky, I've done so much travelling, but see when brands do little personal touches like this, it makes my heart so happy. Like it's really exciting, it just, it's just like, it's like, I don't know, it's like Christmas or something, coming into a room with wee treats and stuff. <laughs> it's absolutely, it's, it's the coolest thing ever. That's really, really lovely though. I'm ready, I look the exact same, but I just put a play suit on and I'm gonna keep my denim jacket on. Four thirty in the PM. No, I've got insomnia. You don't have insomnia. You've got jet lag. <laughs> I see that. What? You're giving me the fingers. Hello there, friend. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right. Nice to meet you. Go and eat your dinner. Go and eat your dinner. Come on. Go and eat your dinner. You not like your dinner tonight? Well, I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have some. Mm, 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 that's good. Oh, mm, 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 that's good. <laughs> Works every time. Good boy. Ah. Hey, <laughs> what do you want? You're about to make a milkshake, aren't you? So, yesterday I got home and I had work to do so i worked from when i got home from london to last night me and jack went out for something quick to eat um, and then i went to my bed at half nine and slept right through to seven o'clock this morning um i'm up i'm ready today is an exciting day i'm actually quite nervous but um, charlotte's just about to come pick me up i'm going to try some dresses on today i'm really excited i'm going to ella ganza in glasgow which is like a nice bridal shop cara is amazing. She booked an appointment and basically when you book an appointment you kind of pick your style of dresses that you like and Karen knows exactly what kind of dress I'm looking for so she did a kind of wish list thing so they know exactly what kind of dresses I want to try on so I think what happens is when you get there they've kind of pulled like dresses that they think that would suit the kind of theme or whatever. Uh, I don't really know, I don't think I'm going to film anything today. We're, this is like the first trying on of dresses and stuff like that. I don't really want anyone to see me in a wedding dress apart from like my close friends and my mum and that's pretty much it. So I don't think I'm actually going to be doing any vlogging of me trying on dresses. I'm sure you guys understand. It's just not something I feel like I want to do. 
Like, because then that means Jack, when he's editing, will see me in a wedding dress. He'll see exactly what I look like. Which I'm like, no, I can't have that. It's meant to be a surprise. So, I'm just going to go. Uh, our appointment's at 10, and then afterwards we're going to go to Carrot's house for some lunch. And then when I get home, I am going to film a little video for YouTube. And I'm going to do a giveaway because I hit half a million. Which is so crazy because I actually looked and it was only January I think I hit 200 or 300,000, I can't remember. I can't believe it. I'm so grateful. So I'm excited about that. So I'm going to come home and sort out some giveaway prizes and do a giveaway on YouTube. I'm still working out how to like enter and stuff like that. But by the time this vlog goes up, the giveaway will be live. I'm going to put it up today. So I'm very, 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 very excited. Uh, feeling good today. We, I don't think we're jet lagged anymore. We both got up at 7, both slept like eight or nine hours last night so feeling good There's only like one dress for sure that I was like nah and I took it off and we tried on about eight, yeah. nine. Yeah, it was so good. Literally really? every single dress you tried on, we were like, ah, I can't <laughs> you are stunning, it. you got a vision. And there was little bits of each dress that we really liked <laughs> and Anne, the woman who is the director. Oh my God, she was like the nicest person the I've ever met in my life. Genuinely the best. She, like, she totally knows. She's amazing. And you got goodies. You guys, I'm so tired. <laughs> So basically, today was the best day ever. Trying on wedding dresses was one of the best experiences. It was so lovely and it was actually a really good day. And I thought I was going to absolutely hate myself in them just because it's like, it's quite scary. But I didn't and I, I was really excited. It's quite emotional. We went to Canada's house for a bit of lunch and now I'm home and look at this. Don't know how it happens, but basically tonight, it's 10 past seven at night, Jack's about to watch the football. I'm gonna just sit in here and watch the office and sort my office out. You see the link there, you see the link? So I'm gonna do that. And I'm also gonna plan my week because I've got a lot of filming to do. I'm gonna get the giveaway ready tonight as well. <laughs> <laughs> 